Okay, let's have a look at cellulose structure in plant cells. Um, we've got a bit of biochemistry here, which a lot of people get confused with, but it's actually quite simple. Cellulose molecules come together uh, essentially uh, with beta glucoses, which we can see up here in the top left, joining together to form a straight chain. Straight chain. And the bonds that form between them are glycosidic. And we can see one right here, glycosidic. And it's a 1, 4 glycosidic bond because the carbon's involved. Carbon 1 on one beta glucose and carbon 4 on another. Alternate glucose molecules are uh, inverted. And you can see that here with this CH2 OH group being one side and the next beta glucose molecule you can see that it's been flipped upside down and so on. So we have inverted beta glucose molecules. The reaction that forms these bonds is a condensation reaction. Which actually helps to produce water when the two molecules bind together. And again, this chain is unbranched, so we can just call it a straight chain. The chains can be held together with hydrogen bonds, which can be seen down here on this bottom figure. And when you get 60 to 70 of these, so we write 60 to 70 chains held together with hydrogen bonds, those actually make a micro fibril. And there we have it, cellulose in its entirety.